Hey there, this morning on Rawson Reports, a very important warning for your holiday weekend about the dangers that many of you may face on the water. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is here with more on that. Jeff, good morning. Hey guys, good morning to you and happy 4th of July to all of you at home. It's here and I'm sure a lot of you are going out on the water today. Why wouldn't you? Wakeboarding, water skiing and of course tubing. You know, when you get pulled across the water by a boat, it's fun and more popular than ever. But accidents keep happening. Several new cases already this year. People getting hurt. Experts say there are simple things you can do while still having fun to keep out of the ER. It's a great way to beat the heat. Zipping behind a boat, <laughs> sweeping across the sea, <laughs> and while it looks like harmless fun, Get it gone. the wipeouts can be extreme. <laughs> so when you're out there tubing, you're going at 18 to 25 miles an hour, and when you fall off, it can almost be like hitting concrete. Last year, there were more than 4,000 boating accidents, resulting in 701 deaths. So the nation's largest boating safety organization is issuing a warning. Hey, Jeff, you ready to go? Ready. Putting me on a tube. It's hard to hold on. To demonstrate life-saving tips, keep watching on this turn right here. Whoa. As I hit the boat's wake, I wipe out the tube flying in the air. My body slamming into the water. Okay, so when you fall off the tube, your immediate instinct is going to be a swim back to the boat. Don't do that. You want to stay exactly where you are, tread water. Wearing a life vest while you're tubing is mandatory, so it'll be easy to tread water like I am right now. Look around for other boats. Make sure you won't get hit. You're just a tiny little dot in the middle of this giant sea. They can barely see you. Then give the OK sign to your boat. Make eye contact so they know you're all right and wait here for them to come get you. And what the boat operator does next is just as critical. Jeff, I'm coming to you. Just stay where you are. I'm going to drive around you and let you pick up the tow line. As soon as you grab it, I'm going to turn the motor off and pull you in. With the motor off, there's no chance of you getting hurt by the propeller. That's the biggest tip. Cut the engine. When the boat gets close, I grab the line. I have the tow line. OK, so the engine is off, so this is safe. Off. Come on up. There you go. And now we're safe on the boat. No yep. chance of a propeller collision. No chance of anything happening to you. You can have a great time on the water and still be safe. <laughs> A couple of other important things to remember. Always make sure there are at least two people on the boat, someone to drive and then a spotter to watch the tuber or the water skier. And experts say everyone should be wearing a life jacket. I know it seems completely obvious, but experts say most of the people who die every year or get hurt just aren't wearing them. We hope these tips help and happy 4th of July. Happy Thank you, Jeff. It. Something to keep in mind. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.